back to Europe. Is that where I come go from? Go back to Europe. That talking point what? doesn't work because I'm from Yemen. Half of Israel is not from Europe, but that doesn't suit your narrative. The fact that we were chased out of Arab countries doesn't suit your narrative. You're half the man I am. You're I not know. even half. I'm a quarter. Both of you. I'm Both not, of you will never have nothing. the heart we're I not, have. We're nothing. Okay? Now that we've gotten that out of the way and we can have a normal conversation. Yes, I'm really scared of you. I have a big scary body. Yeah. Now that a real man is I in know, both of your faces, you're a real faces, man. You can't do anything. You've got to get off the gear though. Oh, okay. That's what it's about. That's Are you on the gear? Huh? You're on the gear. Like, uh, you're going to deny that too. But, you know. You... Does that intimidate you? That scares me. Yeah, I'm a real man Please facing you face to face. I'm here. In front of thousands of Israelis. Because they'll never get By violent. Myself. They're not like you guys. By myself. Because they're not like you. Yeah, no. no. Are the cops there for their protection or mine? The cops are here I've because you guys here. are violent I've been thugs. Here. Have you mini for Rebel News outside the Victorian Parliament here in Melbourne, Australia? I'm here today to cover the rally against rising anti-Semitism, but I'm here a bit early because the other side, the Jew haters, have promised to come to disrupt, to counter protest this rally. Let's go find out why. Yeah, why? Why are they here? Why are you? Yeah, that's interesting. Why Why here at this time? I think we were invited. I just, by who? Uh, by you. It wasn't an open invite. At 1.30. I spoke to um, Simon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're welcome to come. Yeah, okay, I, okay. I, I, I chatted with... part of the... What was the thing going on? Protest against the... There was the... a counter-protest call to protest against the protest for anti-Semitism. We no, no, no. That? So you're not here for the counter-protest. You're here to come two hours early to hear him speak. Is that right? Is that what you want us to believe? With a Palestinian flag, two hours early, and there just happens to be a counter-protest to the anti-Semitism rally. That's your story. Can you guys be honest about anything? Take that as a no. Why does the flag have so many holes in it? Is that to match the history? What do we think about me? So as you can see, Antifa has shown up to counter-protest the rally of support against the rise of anti-Semitism. So, get this straight, I know it's confusing. Antifa is rallying for anti-Semitism. I've warned you for years, that's where we've arrived. can you get your ladder out, Antifa around the world, all the same. They've got masks. They've got a few chants. They've got a few chants. And don't move. We're gonna have trouble. Don't move. Don't move. Stay there. Stay behind him. Watch him. We're here. Don't let him. I'm not moving. So why are you wearing a mask? Cover their faces. Keep it up. You shit, dickhead! You keep it up! We're gonna have problems! What do you look like? Show me your face! Free Palestine! Why are you covered your face? Why are you got a covered face? Why are you got a covered face? Why are you got a covered face? What? Are you threatening me? Are you? Harvey. You're standing for peace, Just but you're there. there. Go. Uh, go. Maybe get them off the street. Go. Look at them. Harvey, we Look. Just don't want you to get assaulted. Don't worry That's about me. Don't worry about me. Look at them. Look at them. They got masks. That's why we have you here, and I'm grateful every time you're there. You jump in, no matter what, who, when, why. I know I can do my job because I have you, and Absolutely. thankfully to the people at home uh, at protectrv.com that's where you can chip in for our security costs daniel is one of those security costs protectrv.com i can't do it without you and i certainly can't do it without you guys either thank you thank you thank you look at that Harvey is a transfer antifa of 2024 Harvey is a transfer. Harvey is a wife you got you got you've got islamists Harvey you've got islamists with that Harvey That's the state of the pro-Palestinian movement at the moment. Anti-Israel. It's an unholy alliance where they have one Harvey thing in common. The hate for Jews. Is a fascist. I'm not sure exactly what goes through the head of these far leftists supporting these types of extremist groups. Maybe they think that if they appease them, they might be saved in the end. But you and I know exactly what would happen to them under the rule of such a fundamentalist theocratic type of governance, right? 
I don't think they'd be surviving too long. So the fact that they're protesting an event like this, which is literally standing against anti-Semitism, standing up for the Jews, not just in Melbourne, but around the world who have been unfairly targeted, I think it tells you something very deep-seated about their intentions, and they are indeed the ones filled with hatred, and we need to stand against them. So, Nick, how does it feel to finally be on the side of the port? Oh, it's actually really nice. <laughs> there's, no, there's no worry or anxiety. They're just going to bash somebody. And seeing the port use the same tactics they've used to COVID protesters and using them the right way, like actually going after people that are aggressive, beautiful. Happy with that. Happy with the police doing what they're meant to do. I just don't like it when the police target people for political reasons. As you can see, police now moving on Antifa and the Islamists who came here to stand for anti-Semitism against the Jewish community. And this is the kind of policing we support here in Victoria, taking out the thugs who have been terrorising our city for now seven months. Excuse me, hey, put the flag back. Put the flag back. No, that's not your flag. That belongs to us, and you have no right to it, and you have no right to this land. Did you just tell an Aboriginal man to put down your flag? He's Aboriginal, Habibi. He's ab you're throwing money at a Jew. So classy. There you go. You see, these so-called Palestinians, they'll steal anybody's culture. They'll pretend like it's theirs. It's not his flag. It is an Aboriginal flag, and an Indigenous man here held what he claims to be now his flag. So Israel's his Indigenous land, and now Australia. Welcome to the Intifada. There's no anti-Semitism here. There's no anti-Semitism in Melbourne. None. None. Really? Well, not from us, anyway. Okay, I didn't. I didn't say you, but how about the genocide? So, so do you stand against anti-Semitism? Stand against genocide? And Absolutely. Do you? Why is that? Why do I stand against genocide? Oh, with genocide. Oh, again? I absolutely stand against genocide. Oh, bash Never wife. bash a woman in my life. But since we're on the, on, the, on, the, on the topic of women, why do you stand with gang rapists? I don't. Will you condemn Hamas? Do you? Absolutely. It's so targeted against you, isn't it? I reckon they hate me more than they hate Israel. They do. They do. <laughs> they care. They care. They care more about my Let's, fake. I got a peace deal we can do. We'll give you Harvey. All they, right. they care more about my fake woman bashing than their fake genocide. Yeah, stand here with this police presence. So are you threatening me? You're saying that I'll get bashed. This is the only way you'll come down and try and stand up for yourself. So your argument is that because I'm unsafe to be alone, you told me not to come here alone. Why shouldn't I come here alone? Hey, why haven't you why responded wouldn't, to Hash? Why wouldn't why I come have you here alone? To hash? Why wouldn't I come here alone? Why don't you, why don't you come respond to Hash's post? The, why did Hash blame Jews for firebombing his shop? They did. Or Jew supporters. How many women did you beat? Never beat a woman in my life. Now, now since, we, since you care so much about women, do you condemn the gang um, rape of women on October 7th. Of course. Okay. What gang rape of women on October 7th? Do you have proof of that? Harvey, yeah, they literally filmed yeah. their crimes. Do you Harvey, say yeah, so? So they you are a terrorist. I would not talk to a terrorist. I'm not going to talk to a terrorist. You're talking. I'm not going to respond to you. You're a terrorist. And by the way, guys, if you want to hear the real story about my personal life, if you're as interested as them, rebelfromthestart.com. I tell it all: the good, the bad, the ugly. But guess what? The ugly is nowhere near as ugly as that. Why hasn't the pro-Palestine spoken up in regards to the children used as child suicide bombers during the second Tevada? Why haven't they spoken up for the use of child labor that was killed by Hamas, by the way, to dig their towers? Why haven't they spoken up in regards to the children used as human shield when Hamas launches rocket against Israel? It's disgusting. Like I said, I stand up for the truth. What brings you here? I really wanted to come here to support positivity, to bring and meet Jewish people and Christian people together in a sense of supporting Australia. Australia is a fair go country and I'm here for love and that's why I'm here. Why are you wearing an Australian flag? Because I'm proud to be an Australian, I'm proud to be an Armenian and my girlfriend's Jewish and I'm proud to represent everything that she believes in.
it's un-Australian to not be patriotic, to not be nationalistic. That's why there's no Australian flags there. They are not aligned with Australian values. What do we got? What do we got? Are the Yemenis at one? So you seem to care so much about women. Yeah, what about that. what about the women in October 7 who were gang raped by your heroes? What are you wasting your time on an ignorant, stupid person? I think it's important for the world to see she these does. masked no, no. morons. She has been convicted she of her mind. A facts, facts will confuse her. Facts will confuse her, that's all. Do you condemn the killing of women and children? Absolutely, Hamas should be condemned. Mate, are you a real man? His a real man's is in front of you. A real man is in front of you now. It's debatable. I'm not, I'm, he can't touch you. It is debatable. He can't touch you. I can all take right. on telling you, you've got no heart. You've got no courage, that's why I'm here by myself. In front of thousands of people. Because I'm a symbol of resistance. Yeah, and what's that resistance? Rape? Do you support Hamas rape? Is that no, your resistance? No morals, no values, no, no heart. So Muslims, Christians and Jews live together peacefully, yeah? Really peacefully? Yes. They did. Well, what happened in... They, they did, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. We alhamdulillah. did. The world knows it. The world knows it. Habibi, I'm from Yemen. I don't, you can That's lie, you you can lie to white people, you can't lie to me. I'm from Yemen, Habib. You deep down that. know that the Israeli system is racist. They, that if anyone who's not a Zionist, you know how they treat them, yeah? You know how the world A quarter works. of Israel is not Jewish. How do you explain that? A quarter of Israel... You know, all right, you define me. What's Israel? Do you believe Gaza and West Bank is part of Israel? Do you no, believe I'm saying Israel you proper. I'm talking about you Israel. You know why I'm they want that. Gaza? Talk to me normal. Like, let's, yeah, let's okay, okay. All right, let's talk normal. Israel proper. Yeah, we're not talking about... Leave get, get, uh, Gaza and West Bank out, right? Yeah. Israel proper, there's... A quarter of the population is not Jewish. How do you... Palestine. Yeah. You say Israel, my head is Palestine. Oh, yeah, because you, you want to ethnic cleanse Israel ethnic of Jews. Forget the man, what about the message? Why are you standing here protesting a rally against anti-Semitism? Are you against... Because you are a child killer. Why do you think they hate me so much? Because I'm better looking than them. Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have that problem too. Yeah, um, I wish. Why would I condemn Hamas anyway? They raped and butchered women. They kidnapped they women. They have not. They have not. Do you really believe that? Or is that just a talking point you have to... Repeat to convince yourself that you're not I'm standing with their you. most I'm evil people on the planet. I'm unlike you brainwash, okay? They they published it. They they me. they live streamed their crimes. You don't believe Hamas when they say they did it, they were proud of it. When did they say that? They live streamed it on October 7. How can you deny it? I feel bad for you. I feel really bad for you. Have a nice day. Peace to you all. You Have seem a nice very day. peaceful. Peace to you all. Why are you wearing a mask? Get fucked. And Victoria Police again today showing us that they do know how to do their job by moving on the thugs that have been terrorizing our city and specifically Jews since the 7th of October. What would you say to Aussies that think, well, this is a problem in the Middle East, keep it out of Australia and um, we, we don't want to hear about it here. Yeah, well, I'm sure that's what they thought in the UK as well and, and what they thought in France. But unfortunately, this ideology spreads. And uh, first it starts, you know, with the Saturday people and then the Sunday people, so. I think that's not only the problem like in Middle East. It's all over the world now. In Australia, in the United States, everywhere. Why are you still wearing a mask? Is it COVID or are you ashamed of your views? Wow, that's so original. Stand against violence against women. Hamas gang rapists, your heroes. What are you doing here? Shame on you. It's disgusting. You should be ashamed. What do you have to say about October 7th? What do you have to say? Do you have anything to say? One word. Was bad? No. Quietly. That's it. What she's wearing? You've come to a protest against anti-Semitism wrapped in a terrorist scarf and you wonder why anyone's reacting to you. So there you have it. Thousands gathered here in peace to stand against the shocking rise of anti-Semitism since the horrific attack on October 7. Now you can see in contrast to the other side here where they're chanting for genocide and refuse to fly even one Australian flag this side coming here in love and peace, flying the Israeli flag, but proud about Australia. Proud to be Australian standing for Western democratic values. So if you think for a second, this is about a war in the Middle East, 
wake up before it's too late because the war on everything we stand for have arrived on our streets. If you think it's important for the world to see the true face of the hate that has arrived on our streets and the threat they pose to our way of life, make sure to like, comment, but most importantly, share it far and wide. Not only because the Jewish community need your support right now, but our future way of life here in Australia depends on it. And then if you support Daniel, if you think Daniel's work today here on the ground again is important and needed, make sure to head over to protectavi.com, help cover our, all of our security costs, including Daniel, protectavi.com. I couldn't do any of this without him and certainly not without you, protectavi.com.